have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hello everyone, uh, today uh, we'll see how to create this really cool and easy effect in here as you can see it's like a half human and the other half is uh, a skull so we'll see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop alright fantastic so let's get to it ok so open your Adobe Photoshop and just open the image that you want to use or you can just use the same image I will be using uh, you will find the, the, the link where you can download this image and use it uh, as long as you respect the rules of uh, this uh, the owner of this uh, uh, stock in here alright so uh, the first thing I would do I would just crop the image so we just use like the, uh, the area that I want alright let's enter now uh, now I need like to desaturate it because uh, that's where we gonna blend it with the black and white so I will just press shift ctrl u this will make it black and white and I will just drag the skull picture in here that I already cut it I will upload this uh, skull in the link from description below you can download that so we'll just make it bigger a little bit and press enter now I will just duplicate it in case like uh, I need the original because we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll transform it and you know uh, and maybe we need like the original anyway so but uh, I think I will just darken this image in here because the skulls look like a little bit darker and I want it to blend together so I will just apply a, a level adjustment so we just make it darker just a little bit alright okay something like this okay now I will just try like uh, to make it fit so I will just first I will resize the layer by right right click and choose rasterize layer and we'll put down the, the opacity for like 70 or 50 percent so I can see where I want to put the the skull so I want to match it with the eye so I press ctrl T to enter the transform mode and I will just I will try like to make it uh, fit with the, the teeth and the eye so so we just right click and then we choose warp so something like that all right and drag this handle to fit uh, the jaw of uh, the face Okay, because uh, you only need this uh, side in here. You can use the, the both, but I will I will just use the, the one sided of this one in here. So just all right. Let's enter. And let's see. Okay. Now I will just make it down the opacity a little bit, and I will change the blending mode to multiply. This will make it fit a little bit, as you can see. But I think I will need like to make it to make it uh, fit more. So I will just go and choose Edit, and then I will choose Puppet Warp in here. This way we can like really really control like where we want like to transform in a really specific way. So we just put one point in here and the other in here and one in here and other one in here so I will just make sure like to put uh, uh, in the area that I want to use so I will just or uh, that I don't want to be moved so I will just try to control the area that I'm 
I'm trying like uh, to move and for example this area I want to make it like this and this one in here all right and maybe okay all right I get this enter it's like a, a really tiny change but uh, it will make it uh, fit more now uh, I will make a, a layer mask and I will choose a brush to make it smaller and I will delete the eye uh, so it will appear so I will just choose 100 and I will just delete this part in here so it will be visible all right and I will just delete this whole part from the face like so because as I said I will only use this part in here all right okay it starts to look really cool just delete this part in here too all right maybe I will make this appear so it's just the blending and make it look really nice all right like that and I will just delete this part in here all right this part like uh, I just want like to make it look like a, like a skin going all right and we'll need like to get rid of uh, the ears and this part in here because like uh, the skull like can't like make this um, but all right so now uh, I will just make a copy of this and I will change the blending mode this time to soft light and I will put it like 50 percent as you can see this will make it appear really more and give it a really nice look to it as you can see so let's see if we missed something all right looks cool like that now uh, what I can do I will just go and make a new layer and let's call this clone so we'll just clone some of the details of the background by using the clone stamp, the, the clone stamp tool, and and make sure like to put the sample to current and below. This way we will just copy just uh, what is below this layer in here. So we just by pressing Alt, one click, and we just delete this part in here all right as you can see and let's delete this part in here and this part Alright, and I want to delete this part of the mouth too, so we'll just again alt click and we'll just delete this part of the mouth. And just, okay, looks cool. Let's, let's delete this part in here. ok 
Okay. Nice. Uh, all right, I like that. Let's see. Yeah. Let me blend everything together. So I will just put this both layer in a group by pressing Control G. This way I can make a layer mask to it and delete. And let's try like to make that thing blend more. All right. And in here, let's see. So we just want to delete this part. Okay. Now I want to darken this area a little bit, so we just make a level adjustment and I will just try like to make it darker like really not that much alright something like that and then I will just invert the, the layer by pressing ctrl i this will make the layer mask into black now I can just use a brush and darken this parts in here that I want to be dark so we just darken really quickly alright not that much okay like that and of course I can just turn down the opacity a little bit so maybe 70 or I can just double click onto the layer mask and I will turn down the density Yes, a little bit and this would affect other parts but not that much I don't want it to be yeah like that now let's see but I don't like this all right now what I can do uh, I can will make a, a new layer and I will press shift a5 in the keyboard and this will uh, make the fill appear in here and I will just use this uh, the 50% gray in here and I will press ok and I will change the blending mode to uh, overlay and this way I can just darken some parts in here by a brush so I will use a black color and 10% opacity with a 10% flow. Press enter. Now we just dark some parts in here. As you can see, really quickly. Okay, as you can see, this will make some parts darker. Now I will make another layer and I will press shift F5 again and I will make a 50% gray again and then I will change it to overlay and this time I will use white so I can brighten some areas so this part in here like you can uh, go back to the, the darken uh, layer in here and you know just make these cracks appear more by making them darker like this all right okay like that now um i will just merge everything by pressing shift control alt e and this will make uh, in a, this in a uh, separated layer and now I want it to me to be like um, wide so I will just go to the crop tool again and I will just make it wider like so maybe not that wide okay or right, something like that please enter oh let me go to the crop tool again and I will just make it like this all 
All right. Now what I can do, I would, I would just, you know, uh, put uh, back some of uh, the background in, in here. So we just uh, select this really tiny part in here, and I would just press, in, I will press Control C to copy it, and Shift Control V to paste it in place. Like this. Now I press Ctrl T and I will just duplicate it. Or you know you can just make it like this, but it will stretch. So you can just make it really like tiny. Make it bigger just a little bit. And then repeat it by pressing Alt. You can just repeat the same method again. this all right again alt alt so we just keep doing this and we'll be back in a second all right something like that now uh, I would just merge this all layers in here by pressing ctrl E and then I would just make a snapshot again by pressing shift ctrl alt e this will make it in a separate window a separate layer now i can just go and uh, bring this spark in here and we make it bigger all right like this and press enter now i will just uh, change the blending mode to uh, color dodge or let's use linear dodge add let's see between them yeah I like color dodge and then I will make a layer mask and I will just delete this part in here of the layer all right But as you can see it will add uh, this uh, cool sparks in here now I will just duplicate it by pressing ctrl G and then I will choose ctrl T and right click and I will choose flip horizontal and I will just replace it in the other corner in here and press enter and let me adjust that a little bit Right. Okay, as you can see, it looks cool. Now I will just make a curves adjustment. So I will add three points. And I will just try like to darken a little bit. Yes. You know, you need like to play with that. this okay, it looks cool now uh, I will add uh, a solid color to it and I will choose this oranges color right. okay and I will change the blending mode to exclusion and we'll just make it 15 and then I will uh, choose the layer mask and I will just delete with a soft brush a little bit of the color just one click and there you go so I hope 
that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day